hello, hello, hello. Happy spring equinox. Yes, we are ready. We are prepared. It is time. The astrological new year is here. Joy, rapture, all those wonderful things. So we're going to do quick readings for all of the signs just to get a general vibe for what's coming up for spring for all of the signs. Um, not all, all of them. I don't know. Maybe I'll pull like a couple of cards for all of them. Maybe I'll do that in a separate video. Maybe I'll do a special for like the cards I, for the signs I don't cover. But we're going to do like reading readings for the signs I do cover with Oracle cards. And we'll get going from there. So since this is airy season, my loves, we are going to start with Scorpio because they are ruled by Mars. And so this is my way of paying homage to Aries. So we're going to do a oh like this video comment down below what you're looking forward to for springtime and subscribe let's see what we're getting into okay so we're going to start with oh a main card which has already come out which is our page of pentacles lovely um page of pentacles in reverse though so for my scorpios this is a season for you that's going to be focused on kind of standing still a bit kind of settling in a bit you're not necessarily trying to start anything new when it comes to your finances and such in the way of like mm, learning something new it doesn't mean that new things will not be coming in it doesn't mean that you won't be like having advances or anything like that but that just very like the the most primal level of earth energy is is like not your bag it's, it's not very really, it's not really where you're trying to focus your energy let's get for the first so let's see april oh goodness okay well that was fast all right so april we have the knight of swords may we have the three of Sw three of swords and then oh yeah this is why this is why yeah, this is a season of transition that's going to be coming up for you, my lovely Scorpios. Okay, so April, we have Knight of Swords, lots of communication, lots of conversation. Um, let's get a clarifier for the Knight of Swords. Um, the lovers, you really having some conversations about what is your path? Where are you going? What is your path? What is it you're trying to create? I kind of love this for you. Um, it may even be a conversation about relationships your relationships, where your relationships are going, what you want your relationships to be. Um, there may be some switches that need to be happening, you know, some changes that need to be happening. That's a okay. We totally understand. We get that that is a thing. Um, but you also really like figuring out what your path is. What your path is, where you need to be putting time and attention. And... Two of Pentacles, oof. Yeah, because it seems like you feel, I think one of the issues is, is that while you're trying to find your own path, do your own thing, you feel like your options are limited. You feel like you don't have choices or the choices that you have are not choices that feel fun. So of course, that's why we're, we're seeing some of this page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, for May, let's get a clarifier for the three of swords. We have the Five of Swords, goodness me, Five of Swords and the Three of Wands in reverse. So um, Three of Swords, Heartbreak Breakup card, but also a card about letting your lessons. This is going to have to do with trust. This is going to do with you learning how to um, deal with perhaps some betrayal, but more so, I always say Five of Swords is about learning how to trust yourself and trust others again. If you've had some conversations that have been kind of difficult and have really put you onto this path and made you feel like you don't know what your next steps is, you don't know where you're heading, you don't know, you feel like your options are a little limited, then yeah, it, it could feel like your heart is breaking to get to this point where you realize that the, perhaps the people that you were putting your trust in and even yourself, you like it, it feels like it's a little bit of a disconnect. Um, again, we have a three of wands in reverse. So your vision, you're wanting to be able to kind of see what the next steps are. You're wanting to kind of build your vision. You're wanting to like, how do I move forward from this? Right. Um, and it just seems like you you're the next steps feel unclear. But we eventually get 
uh, in June, before we head into the summer, we get this energy of, oh, I love this. Okay, we get the energy of the Eight of Cups. And I think the thing is, is that this, this space that you're in is not bringing you any joy, any happiness. And it's just time for you to move on. You you see that it's time for you to move on. You may find someone who ends up being very supportive of you. That's that lovely um, King of Pentacles energy. Or you may be moving into this King of Pentacles energy and recognizing that it is time for you to move on. It's time for you to allow yourself to move forward. And you do so. You do so um, without fear. So let's get your outcome for this. Hey, man. Okay, so uh, this 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 outcome while you're moving on, while you're getting to this space, like the first two months, I'll be honest with you, April and May, April will feel a little rocky. May may feel really rough. May might feel like what what the what is this? <laughs> um, we do have. I'm trying to think of what's going on in May. I believe Jupiter moves into in April or May. Jupiter moves into Gemini, so that's Jupiter moving out of uh, Taurus, which was in opposition to you. We still have Uranus in Taurus, so that's still kind of rocking things up for you. Uh, we have uh, Venus will be moving out of Taurus, so like a lot of the beneficial like pools that you were getting are are moving away. Um, let me see. Taurus, Taurus, or Taurus. <sighs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Well, Aquarius still has all of its stuff going on. There is a lot of change. There's a lot of change, a lot of transition, a lot of shifting that's happening. And I mean, that's your whole thing, Scorpio, anyways. But the alignment seems like it's a little off. And it seems like in particular that when it comes to your values, the things that you value, how you look at your life and uh, stuff of that nature, that you may have gotten out of alignment in some way. And so this is kind of like the effort being made to put you back on track, to get you back to a better space, because this seems very stressful. It does. Like, it's very much Ten of Swords. It seems very stressful. It seems very annoying. It seems like uh, it seems like there's kind of this this just wobbly energy of just moving around, trying to figure out the next step, trying to figure out the next path, trying to play up new seeds and just like nothing, nothing catching nothing hits nothing sits and settles in the way that it should to grow and be nurtured and to flourish the way that it should be and part of it is there is a situation whether this is work whether this is home um whether this is a partnership that you need to leave behind because it seems like one of the issues is is that you may have clung to something that gave you some stability that allowed you to ground yourself uh, because there was so much turmoil going on. But in doing so, you compromise your values, not in a loss of morality or in a way to shame you or anything like that. But you compromise your values or you didn't you didn't lean into what you valued most with your time and your energy and your effort. And due to that, like there wasn't anything to grow from there. It's like you're looking for growth. You're looking for expansion. You're looking for vision. You're looking to move forward and to expand. But there isn't anything there to grow. There isn't anywhere for that energy to go because the soil or the plants or whatever was not it was not where it needed to be. You were not where you needed to be. And so leaving behind emotionally, um, I feel like, and especially with getting this Eight of Cups, you may get insights into where this is starting during the eclipse that's coming up, the um, Libra lunar eclipse and the big April eclipse, um, the solar eclipse. It may start to show you where some of this stuff is starting to kind of fall away or needs to fall away. It just may take you a little bit of time to get where you can act on that and when, where you can find more grounding, where you can find more prosperity, where you can find more wealth, where, where your mind can be more calm. And that comes from turning your back on this situation where you may have settled. We do have, again, the, how we can get to it, the hangman as your um, outcome card. And so as an outcome card for me, the hangman is indicating that... Um, the hangman to me is kind of acting in a way to say that 
It is necessary for you to change your perspective. This is going to lead to a moment where your perspective is changed, where you are shifting how you're looking at things, where you may need to take a break and regroup. I think definitely after moving away from the situation, a break to regroup will be great. Let's get one clarifier for that outcome uh, to get balance, to get back into balance so that your partnership, so that your job, so that your the way that you function in relation to things is back in balance. So, all right, let's pull an Oracle card for you so that we can see kind of what the what the insights are for you, my lovely Scorpios. As we move into spring, all right. How are you getting cards in reverse? Overcome fear. Wow. Well. That seems very appropriate. Uh, I'm quite happy that that's the card that you got because I feel like it is very, um, very connected with your reading. The unknown can be frightening. This is where I was like, mm, you're you stay you're, you're staying too long in a situation that it's time to move on from. I know that you feel like, well, I don't have options. I don't. I don't know what other things I could do where I could even find a new pentacle. And I don't I have to feel like the vision isn't clear and I'm, my feelings are hurt and I don't trust what this next step could be. But it is time to move on. Um, it's easy for those feelings to intensify in the darkness or when we feel exhausted. Make sure all of your needs are met and you are well rested. It takes patience, consistency and validation to rewire the old past of your thoughts. Perhaps the past experience is triggering the current emotions. So not, so acknowledge the reasons you feel this way. Note the way you speak to yourself. You are strong and powerful and you can overcome anything, but also remember to be gentle and patient with who you are. Move slowly at your own pace and see yourself shining in the bright warm light of this glowing candle. Use this card when you need to face your fears or anxiety. Create a safe space in your mind by imagining lighting a candle. The candle represents your bravery and the prickly branches on this card are your fears and anxiety. Look at the card again and envision the light shining brighter and stronger until it spills over the edges of the card and out in reality. Feel the burden dissolve and notice how light this new feeling of love and trust becomes. And your affirmation is, I can manage my feelings. You got this, Scorpio. I believe in you. If you would like a personal or private reading, just reach out to me if you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one to do some coaching during this time. Um, let's connect, okay? I love you, Scorpio. Have a wonderful spring equinox. <laughs>